Marlins really haven't been 0-4 since 2001. That's strange. I found that to be a shocking statistic. Is that right? I Pot find it more shocking than it was Pittsburgh. 2001. Pot up Leroy. Leroy should be up. Is there anything else that I'm doing wrong, potentially? You can't hear me? Doing I wrong. can hear you. Oh, uh, computer muted. Who does that? Why would Who you mute this computer? No, my computer is muted. Why would you mute the computer? I've never done that in my life. Is, this is, is why you're getting too big for your britches. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Because yeah, I can we... hear everybody. So no, I, that's not great. Not frog. He's gotten way too big for his ego ever since becoming a stand-up okay. comedian. You know, uh, too big for his britches. That's what he is, man. You know, I, I want you to know. Hmm? Love you guys. Really do. We do, too. We're just your friends telling you, like, look, we're happy for your success, but you've gotten a little big for your britches. That's all. Really, I've never seen you at a show. Well, I mean, you never invited me. <laughs> oh, no, that's a lie. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Let's be clear. Hmm? At no point in time, have you ever yeah. asked us hmm. or suggested that we go? To yeah, you've only Empire. invited us to the game shows. I was going to say, what about the millions of game you shows? You invited me I to do. the game shows. I'm like, oh, are you hosting? You're like, well, I'm, I'm pushing the button. <laughs> I'm, pushing I'm like, I don't want to go see you <laughs> produce the. I want, if you're going to host, it's a fun game. I'll consider it. See that? So, yeah. I think you this is why be. he's too big for his britches. You know, yeah. he, he's right now, he's, he's on the Crowder wagon. Yeah. And then oh, all of a sudden, yeah. he's, it's the little oh, people. Going on tour, by the way. You know, uh, coming here up today in the pivot, our first time interviewing an amphibian. Thank you. Thank you. What's it like to <laughs> land and see? You know what I'm saying? But, like, I heard that yesterday on the broadcast after the Marlins dropped to 0-4 and but, just a terrible weekend of getting swept by the By the way, spirits. I asked this question of Tommy Hutton. Mm -hmm. And I said, this team goes as the pitching, right? Mm -hmm. And he goes, yeah, we got some pop, we got we got some pop, but, but the pitching was the bigger issue this weekend, huh? The pitching was the bigger issue this weekend, right? That's what I'm saying. But it's not even the starting pitching. We how many times? Oh, did, dude, how, how many times did you go to the bullpen last year and it was a total collapse? Dude, I watched. I was. AJ I, I, Puck will be back in the in the. Uh, yeah, bullpen. he sticks. He's he. I've determined. I've 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 determined his his starting career after one game, and I've I've determined put him back in the bullpen and and six make him Burke made and hop and 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 six though, you are here for the heater, you are not here for change up slider. Okay. How how can you have your bullpen decimated in one series? Oh my goodness! Now they're Dude. already hit. Jim Schumacher's Sorry. like. We're decimated. I'm like, it's been four games. What do you mean? Four games decimated? They're sending guys up and down. They're going to they're gonna have to call it. They, who's their version of Stoli the goalie? I don't know. <laughs> we need them. I don't know. I don't know. But I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's been some bad Marlins teams over these last. So we're not, talking. Not going through pitching like this, though. 23 years. There hasn't been a season that has started this bad. There's been some bad Marlins. 0-4 oh, for the first time since 2001. Which also coincides with the other feeling you have with the Dolphins. Winning a playoff game. <laughs> At least that was a long time for a feel good. Not I mean, a long the time Marlins, for it. The Marlins have a championship in the midst of the time the Dolphins yeah. have yet to win a playoff game. Right. All right. But I, I, I was like, all right, whatever. It's the first series. Two were in extra innings, you know. You 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 showed some. I mean, you blew it. You you had a you had a grand slam. To st How many teams start start a game with a grand slam and lose in the history of baseball? I got to imagine that's a very rare feat. It sounds like it, right? It sounds it just like doesn't rare. sound. I don't you know. Ever what have the a, are. Hey, you ever you you ever get to throw a stat out there? You say, look, I, I don't know if this is a stat or not, but there's very few teams that won starting over the grand slam. I would like to know that if anybody, if anybody's re Peter Bendix, if you're busy today, when you're, you know, probably calling up, uh, who knows, Pensacola for your next uh, bullpen on for the Angels tonight. Look up how many, how often is it that a team starts a game with a grand slam and they lose that game? Yeah. I would like to know that. Well, but yeah, that all pales in comparison to what I heard the star of the team have to say yeah. after getting swept. And his reason for why they couldn't hit the Pirates' bullpen. Well, they couldn't hit after the about fourth or fifth inning in every game. Yeah. Well, Jazz Chisholm, 
who you guys know I'm a fan of. Love jazz, uber talented. I hey. think he's a star. But he tried to get one of them free whoppers early because uh, he told the one. He had. I, I almost feel like this has to be an April Fool's joke because this dude told a whopper after which, getting swept. Which he's. <laughs> yeah. Do you have Marlon center fielder, hitter of Grand Slam yesterday, Jazz Chisholm Jr., who is blaming. The sweep, basically, on the roof being open. What made, I guess, the Pirates bullpen so challenging this series? That we couldn't see. (laughs) That's all. I feel like the shadows was a really... We're not used to playing shadows. We normally play inside every day, you know? Uh, So when we get a shadow for three of the four games at home for the first time of the season, it's kind of hard to adjust to, you know? We're used to the roof being closed and being able to see every at-bat. It's kind of tough to see when it's black out there and facing a guy throwing 101, you know? Okay. All right. Jazz. Dude. Hey, we know. Hardest thing in sports. To hit a baseball. Let's say you wanted to go with this argument in June. Okay. But, my guy. First of all, you boxed yourself in. You couldn't get used to it after three games? In a grand Second of all. Second of all, second of all, you just got done playing a month outside. A month. You've been in Jupiter. You haven't been under a roof. You have not been under a roof in seven months. What's the last time? Last September is the last time they were under a roof. You play one game and you're sitting here and be like, man, those shadows just too tough. Shadows? I don't know if he knows this. Does he know when they go on the road for half of the games in his career, which are much less than the other players on the team because he doesn't play much. But he realizes he doesn't exclusively play in a dome. And that's the bull bleep. He's got to be pulling my leg, right? He has to be. This has to be a troll job of some sort because if that's a legitimate argument from him, what the hell are we doing? So they're never going to get a hit after the fifth inning because that's when the shadows are going to come shadows, up. Dude. Yeah, the shadows. The shadows. It's too and much. Some, and by the way, some stadiums are pretty bad with it, and they talk about it. But it's mostly for the outfielders, not for the batters. Remember that always being a thing with the the Marlins outfielders at the old uh, stadium because they were football yes. lights. And they were right. always you'd, – you'd have a guy losing in the lights all the time. But, dude, come, that's – look, even if you believe that – You can't say it. You can't say that's got to stay. That's got to be an inside thought, Jazz. Mm. <laughs> that's got to be one to keep to yourself. Do you know how soft that sounds? We couldn't see because of the shadows. We're not used to it. Okay. Even if you even if you think that's the case, you got to hold that one in your back pocket till the summertime, dude. So never. So you can't never make that out. argument. The first argument, the first series of the weekend. What? I think you're underestimating these shadows. Am I? Yeah. Why didn't Nick Gordon hit a home run to tie the game late? He hadn't been playing. Good vision. Bring him in. Home run. Does Jazz have vision? Isn't that Jazz's best friend? Can your boy go and look at you and be like, hey, man. It's because I, you. I saw the ball quite well. I saw. W- w- was the shadow hiding the baseball? <laughs> straight down the middle when you watched it just go by for strike three uh, what I, I mean uh, all right so it's just not, it's like it's not only that you lose and do something that you haven't done since jazz Chisholm was three years old but not only that but the face of your team is like you guys are greedy with having this roof open too much <laughs> the other the other thing is is that as one of the leaders of the team, you really can't say that because you don't want that to trickle through your your dugout, right? So you kind of have to be the voice of positivity because you are the leader and you don't want, you know, baseball is a very delicate sport in that you get in these slumps and you got to find ways out of them. Crazy. Shmeathan says uh, four games into a 182-game season. Tobin's already freaking out. Well, it's 162, Shmeathan. I'm not freaking out, but, like, 
dude, what are we doing here? I'm freaking out. So I we're gonna to. we're gonna use basically in the first month of the season 35 pitchers. <laughs> <laughs> Say that to yourself. There's some guys that never thought they were gonna play in the first series. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm genuinely excited tonight because Max Meyer is going to be starting for the first time in a while since he had Tommy John. By the way, we have a lot of guys coming off of injury. I don't know how like how reliable we should think of that either. It's like, well, uh, feels like every guy Severino's like, yeah, Tommy, this guy's coming off of Tommy John. But here's the problem, right? These guys coming off of injury and starting is not conducive to bullpen because you know what the next thing they're going to say? They're going to watch his pitch count. So after like four innings, the bullpen starts warming up, and now you you using them again for an extended amount of time. Yeah, it's a bad situation. It's a bad situation because you come into this year, you lose three starters off the bat, so you're already going with your your scraps in the rotation. And yeah, I mean, and and who would have thought that the number one problem you would have had is playing outdoors. I don't like you uh, poo-pooing Jazz Chisholm's points. Okay, why? Because shadows do impact hitting. Everyone who knows baseball Shadows knows do that. impact hitting. Yes. But you can't say, I'm not used to it. You, Jazz, you're not a rookie. Yeah. You're not a rookie. Not I'm not thing. used to it. Okay. If the Marlins would have played, if he would have said this and the Marlins would have played three games this series yeah. with the roof closed, and then he's like, by by Sunday, I'm not used to it. Okay, I'll, I'll hear it out a little bit. All right, dude, they played. First of all, it's the first series of the season. They just played for a month outdoors. Yeah, and then this is the third game that they played. <laughs> the third, no adjustment. You just don't get used to it at but all. They scored a lot of runs. Rough. So what? Like I don't know. What are you not getting? You you got to score fifteen. Jackson. Right, we gotta get it done by the third, guys. Here comes the shadows. Ah! <laughs> they did. Ah! They did get it done by the third. <laughs> they scored enough runs to win baseball games. It's like you're scared of two things. It's like you're scared of vampires and the ten the slider. Ah, I can't notice the difference. Anyway, I don't like this. Great start to the year, boys. Marlins Angels tonight. Wow. Uh, heat oh, though it's, it's at night so you know what that means no shadows well listen what's the uh what's the temperature for tonight just let's let's clear it with jazz if the door if the uh the roof 75 80 i'm gonna tell you something right now though dude jazz that roof's closed you better hit like 400 when that roof is closed <laughs> yeah. all right you're you're like because it because it's gonna majority be closed this year all right like you point out your ass better be hitting tater tots left and right with that roof closed. Man. All right. Take a break. <laughs> 